Welcome back, everyone. It is a wonderful time of year, but with this time comes more socializing, more food, more drinking, more parties, uh, which I love. But it's always challenging to find ways or time to keep active and to exercise and to move your body. So to talk about some movement strategies for holiday wellness, we've got Stacey Irvine. She's got our back and our front and our side. <laughs> Stace, it's such a fun time of year, and I know both of us enjoy it so much, but uh, how do we keep a healthy amount of movement happening this time of year when we're so stretched for time? Yes, you think we would have figured it out by now. Yeah. We've got a few of these holiday seasons under our belt, but every <laughs> year it seems to change a little bit. I'm finding this year there's more parties, more yes. events, which I love. It feels like things are finally back to this great new normal where we're very happy to socialize and spend time with our friends. But yeah. there's also a new term called social jet lag. Ooh. This means I that think I've had that. <laughs> Yes. I think I know exactly how that feels yes. because, yeah, if you're up late and then you wake up in the morning, you're like, oh, my God, I'm so tired, yeah. and you still have to get through your day, but maybe you cut out your workout. Maybe, you know, you're having some extra coffee, but your wellness is not coming along for the ride with all yeah. the fun with the holiday season. We need to get more movement in our day, mm -hmm. and that's we're going to give you some tips for that today. Well, you have a really sort of scrumptious way of doing this. <laughs> this is the big thing for, for 2024. What are they called? Movement snacks. Movement snacks. And you know what I like about this? It's bite size. It's not intimidating. It's not punitive. It's mm -hmm. just a little thing you sort of sneak in whenever you have the chance. If you're sitting there scrolling Instagram, you can probably put a little snack in there, a movement snack. So many things. Right? And who doesn't love a snack? I love a snack. We Show us countertop. snacks. You might just look at this and think it looks like a basic countertop. I see it as an opportunity for a workout. Okay. Any countertop you come upon, it could be in your kitchen while you're making coffee. It could yeah. be while you're brushing your teeth at the end of the night. I think push-ups. So okay. we kind of lean into it. We do a few push-ups. Yeah. It's great for our upper body. For sure. We're working all these muscles up here. Plus, you get your heart rate elevated a little bit, and yes. it's a movement snack. Next okay. thing, squats. You know I love squats. Yes. So with the counter, it's nice because you actually have a little bit of help. Well, we should go at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually, it's, this is, it's almost like a modification. Well, right? and you can go a little lower yeah. and get a better, bigger range of motion. Right. Now, let's take it into a lunge. Lunge is okay. splitting it up and then saying this we're going to work. This is not going to work with these. <laughs> One leg a little bit harder than the other. Yeah. So this is kind of taking it up a notch. These are harder. Mm -hmm. You can feel them in your quads. But it not... is nice to have the support. Exactly. Right? Okay. So we're waiting for the coffee to percolate. <laughs> let's switch legs. Now we're going to switch. Hit that button again. Get the second shot of yep. our caffeine that we might need. Yes, we're definitely <laughs> going to need it. But I like this also because you can literally squeeze this in anywhere. Anywhere, anytime. Right? Glutes. Let's think yeah. about our glutes. We're going to lean right onto that counter. And we're just going to do a big straight leg lift to the back. Nice. And what we're doing here is obviously... We're working a little bit on our posture. We're up nice and tall, but we're contracting that glute muscle. Oh, my glutes are feeling it. Instead of just sitting on it all That's day. That's right. So just get up even while you're watching TV. Anytime, anytime and any place. And if we wanted to do something, maybe we're out in public, a little yeah. more discreet. We might want to do some calf raises. Oh, yeah. You can do that anywhere. My calves are still burning from my workout today. But these <laughs> good are always good to do. They're always good to do. Always good to they do. They get blood flowing. Yeah, they so do. So we've moved a bit. We've added it into our busy schedule of our day. Yep. Let's talk about the parties. Okay. How do we move more at the parties? Right. So we're, we're trying to make it so that the party isn't just uh, sitting. sitting on a seat, eating apps, and, yeah. and, drinking, and drinking the whole time. Let's get some Let's, let's get, get our up blood and let's moving. get some moving. So yeah. Love this game. Cut, um, pucks go into cups. Nice. When you win, you Not get to do, space. it's a dance. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Yeah, you do like a little dance when you, once you've won <laughs> something. We're going to assume we all won. Yeah. Um, I love, speaking of cups, there's yeah. a million games online, like the cup flipping, that all that kind of fun. stuff. And beer pong, of course, but you right. don't have to have beer in it. Come on. 
on. Headbands. Okay, yeah, go so ahead. So you can take all time. these games that we're used to, for example, reverse charades. Yeah. Instead of one person sits and guesses, everybody's out there doing the action, so you get more action. Headbands. Got it. Have people far apart, run together. You got the thing in your head, run, run back. back. We're just trying to get more movement. Love this that. is a new game called Catchphrase. Okay. So you get a, you basically get a clue. So my clue is, and you have to guess it. So okay. he's on Star Wars, he's kind of green. Oh my gosh, I don't know guy. Star Wars. Yell it out, Yoda? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just press that button. Um, this show would be a part of this. It is a whole sort of industry uh, where you might watch TV, you might listen to radio. Morning show. It's called, but the big umbrella of it all is called... <laughs> entertainment. We're in the entertainment biz. We're in the... Industry. Showbiz? Keep going. Showbiz. showbiz. It's, what's the big umbrella? Pass, never mind. <laughs> okay, um, um, uh, 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 never mind. I'm passing. <laughs> um, okay, this was a show we used to watch and it was like sort of on channel two and it was like black and white and it was sci-fi and I was never really into it, but people loved Twilight it. Twilight Zone. Keep going, keep going, keep uh, going. And it was like spooky, but it was old and they did a reboot recently. Adam's Family. Keep going. What is, no, 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 keep going. <laughs> we gotta go to commercial break. I want you to get it. It's Doctor Who, come on.